Hello everyone, welcome to Elite Engineer. In this video, we are going to see the maximum power point tracking technique which is applied to the boost converter. Basically, what happened here is in the previous video, you have already seen that how we are applying the MPPD technique that is a perturb and observe MPPD technique to a buck converter. In this video, we are going to see how we are applying our perturb and observe maximum power point tracking technique to our boost converter. Now, I have taken this a solar PV panel. This is an array, right? And it is generating the maximum uh, maximum power point voltage of 37.6 and it will give me maximum power of 301.928. And the cells per module is 72 and the short circuit is 8.5 current. And this is a maximum power point current is 8.03. So this is basically user defined panel which I have used based upon my requirements. And if you want to uh, just use some predefined panels, you can just click here on the user defined and you can just select whatever panel you want and some specifications if you already given on the MATLAB. And if I want to just see that whether my it is meeting my specification requirements or not, I can check by changing here the irradiations uh, and specify temperatures and uh, like modules, arrays and so on. I will just plot it to just see how it is uh, in visual. So I can just see that it's 25 degrees Celsius and I'm getting around 301.928 watts of power. In a similar fashion, uh, I can just design my boost converter module so that it will give me the specific output as per my configuration. So this is, a, this is my assumptions like what I want to generate based on that I have modified this. And uh, here uh, I've just put 1000 irradiations that is uh, being falling on the solar PV panel and 25 degrees Celsius that is a temperature. I can just change this. I can make this a partial shading also. I can make it as like varying temperature also throughout the day or at specific interval. That depends upon me. And I'll just tell you about that in my upcoming videos. Right now, uh, it's just a basic MPPT with the perturb and observe that is applied to the boost converter. Now, if I just open the boost converter, as we already know that boost converter configuration is inductor, switch, and then diode, and this output capacitor, right? And this is my input capacitor. So what happened here is this is the input voltage and input current that is coming from solar PV panel. I'm measuring it for for MPPT, right? Now the output of MPPT uh, will be my duty, and I'll just feed it to duty to the pulse generator. See, duty to pulse generator, and here it will generate the pulses that will be fed to the switch, which is of uh, boost converter switch, right? And here I've just used some basic calculations. Uh, you will get the calculation details from many power electronics books. Uh, like basic uh, calculations for calculating uh, based upon my duty, based upon my output voltage, based on my input voltage, based upon my output current, based on my input current. These inductor values and capacitors values can be calculated easily. Right. So this is my inductor values and I've already shown you the capacitor value. Now the output of this boost converter will be fed to the resistive load. In this I have in this model, I've just considered one resistive load and in upcoming videos, I'll just take some, some different kinds of loads. Even I can consider a battery load also. For that, we need a bi-directional converter for charging, discharging applications. We're going to see that also. So what happened here is, uh, now I have just used here three types of, uh, two types of visual, visual like scope I have applied here, which uh, I'm using the output of solar P panel and the input of solar P panel, or output, input of solar P panels uh, I'm really sorry, the output of solar B panels, the voltage as well as the current will be fed, will be fed here. I'm really sorry. Yeah, it's fine now. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So this is my in input of uh, boost converter and the output of solar PV converter, uh, solar PV panels, or we can call it an array and the duty, uh, the duty which is being generated here. I'm just visualizing in one scope and it, it will, I just multiply this and it, it, it is giving me power. And this is a V naught, I naught, that is the output of boost converter, right? So these things I'm just uh, visualizing like for my requirements and so on. It totally depends upon you like how you want to design your converter based upon this solar P panel or if you want to change the configuration also. Now the output of solar P panel is fed to zero order hold. I'm taking as 0 0.02 the zero order hold and then I'm feeding this to the per to one observed MPPT. So here I'm just considering the initial duty and then maximum duty, then the minimum duty and then D delta. Now this is the strategy be behind using all this configuration. For example, if we consider my duty, so it is like this bell shape. If you take as a bell shape, so it will start by from right hand side and it will go to the top and it will just oscillate. For that we need some initial duty from where it will start and then 
then there will be a delta d from where it will oscillate right this will oscillate so in the similar fashion it will work and with my perturban observe mppd technique it will give me the duty so that for that we need a zero order hole and that duty will be fed to the duty to pulse and converter and this will convert to the pulse and that will feed to the boost converter so let's run this simulation yeah let's give some time so that it should run Uh, it started it started yeah see you can see there the, it, it it is uh, running so bef in running condition also i can see this so i i love to see this when it is running because i can easily see and track the transients and i love to see the transients see these are transients that is going and it will come the three pulse that we can call it as it has reached the steady state see still it is going so i'll just click here on the top yeah see here it has reached to the steady state and here my power which is coming around 300 and one watts yeah it has reached to the maximum power with 1000 watts and 25 degrees celsius right now it has reached a steady state and how much time interval will run it will just continue in the same fashion until unless there's some partial shading conditions or if there is any variations in our system so if you want this simulation uh, i'll just drop down the link in the comments uh, or uh, description you can just go through that and you it will redirect you to the website where you can just see and download your simulation files that is designed in uh, uh, matlab 2018 version thank you guys thank you for watching this video uh, hope to see you in the next video thank you